graphic extras. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use custom shapes and in particular symmetrical custom shapes to create new symmetrical designs. Now just going to quickly go over to the custom shape tool and I'm using Photoshop 14.2 but uh, you can do the same sort of thing in the earlier versions as well. So I'm going to select a symmetrical design. These ones are from andrewshapes.com and just going to select that one and I'm holding the shift key down so I'm actually just going to just get rid of that because I don't want that earlier one just hold the shift down and there's the actual design I'm using it as a shape obviously a fill black and now what I want to do is actually I'm going to remove the central bit I don't actually want so I'm just going to go to layer new layer and I'm just going to select the ellipse tool I'm just going to create a circle and that's going to go to the actual new layer. Now, of course, I can actually now line two layers. So there's the actual there. And I can go over here, but that option's not available there. So you basically have to go to a layer, align vertical centers, and layer align horizontal centers. So now it's actually symmetrical, it's right in the center of this design. Now I want to go to the option again, layer, combine shapes and subtract front shape. So now I've actually got this, I've got this central bit now in the design. I can actually go over here and merge shape components. So we'll actually just clear that out. So that's, you've actually got this design here. Now I can actually add obviously some other shapes. I'm just going to go again to layer, new layer, and again this is just to basically ease, ease for uh, alignment. So I'm just going to go now to the custom shape tool and select another design. Um, select this one obviously there's lots of other shapes here in the Andrews shape set. And this is going to be obviously added to this layer. So. Now I can select both of those, go over to layer, align, vertical centers, layer, align, horizontal centers. Okay, so now I've actually got this design, I can now obviously got these both selected, and go to layer, combine shapes, and unite shape this time, not obviously subtract, could of course do that as well, but, and just go over there, merge shape component. So it's all now one shape. Now you can go over to edit, define custom shape. Now sometimes that actually define custom shape on the edit is not available. So if it's not actually available, you have to use the direct selection tool and actually you can just select all these points. I can just quickly do that now. So all that will be selected and now go over to edit and define custom shape if it's not available. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. So. Uh, uh, it seems to have a mind of its own whether it's going to be available or not. But uh, so you can now go define custom shape, click OK. So once you've actually done that, now obviously I can just go back to the custom shape tool, select there, and just down to there. And now I can apply this custom shape design as many times as I want. And it's still, like I say, a symmetrical design that you can use over and over again. Now, of course. You can actually use this approach to create your own symmetrical design since you could actually just obviously apply. I'm just going to go back there. You could actually just create a different designs, different angles, and then build up more symmetrical designs using the same basic approach, using layers, alignment, layers, alignment, and combining those shapes, building up at obviously different angles, symmetrical design. I hope you found this of interest. Um, maybe that's something I could be doing for another video, but. Uh, but anyway, you can do it definitely, I'm certain. Hope you found this of interest.